Hi, we're Jim and Myra Wright. Welcome to Right Around the World. Let's talk missions. Hey, it's Jim and Myra. Yeah, this is the second video in a series on the fears that keep a lot of people from answering the call of God and saying, here am I, send me, and going into missions work. And so this particular fear is one that probably doesn't rise to our consciousness, <laughs> but it does keep a lot of people from thinking about it because, well, it's food. Food. What are we going to eat? <laughs> Interestingly enough, this is often the very first question mm -hmm. we're asked in churches is, what's what the food eat? like over there? And, uh, <laughs> so anyway, we thought we would, we would talk about it. Many people fear, ooh, if I go to the mission field, I'm going to have to eat monkey head or some yeah, disgusting yeah. thing like that. Well, not necessarily. And no. let's talk about that. Okay. First of all, we need to have a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, we've only been to 60 countries and we've only lived in 10 countries. And, uh, and so we don't know all of the world, no. but uh, we're telling you about our tastes. We're telling you about our experience. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about our preference. And so if yours is different, we understand that. That's okay. Huh? God made us all different. And uh, so we, we thought we'd talk about some of the, uh, some of the things. Now, First of all, uh, we're going to use a kind of a numbering system, okay? And uh, it's going to be a system that we'll put some numbers up here or something uh, You'll to know show what you. We're thinking. <laughs> it'll show you what we think of the foods that we are talking about. So the numbering system will be one to five, and mm -hmm. and one will be. Nope, ain't happening. <laughs> uh, number two will be. Not on my Thanksgiving table. Okay, but no. Uh, number three will be. Take, Take it or leave. Yeah, it, yeah. We, I, yeah. I can enjoy that, uh -huh. or maybe, maybe not. not. But yeah. uh, number four is, I'm going back for seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and number five? Buy the ticket. Yeah, so buy an airline <laughs> ticket. you got to try this. So yeah. Yeah. in any case, that's our, uh, our, our numbering <laughs> system. Okay, now we're going to try and go from the uh, the country that we didn't like the most to the country that we do like the most. But... You're, you're going to find that there's only one country we've been to where we never really found anything that we really liked. Uh, and then there's one country where we like just about everything. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, but everything else is kind of in the middle. In the middle, yeah. We go, we find good food, mm -hmm. we find good places to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and so, you know. And in every country, we've always been able to find things for me to cook so that we eat American style at home. Right. So it's easy. Let's start off with a country we were just at. For six months, we were in Albania. Albania, yeah. Now, they have uh, some interesting things, and a traditional food there is uh, sheep's, sheep's brain, brain, goat's head. Yeah, it's yeah. a delicacy. Yeah. Okay. Now, nobody ever offered us any of that. They understand that Americans have different tastes than they do. And frankly... It's their delicacy, so they enjoy it. Yeah, they so like they it. don't really have, want to share it with you if you know they don't have to. More so, power to them. Exactly. <laughs> but we did find burek, which oh, is their sandwich. Yeah, yeah about, fantastic, made out of phyllo phil dough. Uh, baklava. Yeah, or as we would say, baklava. <laughs> uh, but um, my and wife just loves. It's that. my favorite dessert in all the world. Yeah. Okay? Um, Kashkaval cheese. Oh yeah, uh, furnished, furnished cheese, cheese, grilled yeah. cheese, baked fire cheese, cheese, fire it's cheese. Yummy. Yeah. It's good stuff, and they, uh, frankly, they have some of the best cheeses around there in and Albania. And there's Ireland. Oh, yeah. Now, they have blood pudding, which mm -hmm. I tried. Breakfast food. We've eaten it. Take it or leave it, and mm -hmm. for theological reasons, I don't know that I necessarily <laughs> want to, but uh, in any case. But then, of course, they are part of the U.K., and what are they known for? Fish and chips. Yeah. And the UK has the Yum. best fish and chips yeah, around. There you go. Then there's Scotland right next door. Yeah, now they have haggis. Uh, and uh, if you know anything about haggis, you might not want to. We haven't actually tried it. We haven't it. tried it. Nobody's ever offered us any. I don't think we will. Uh, I don't know. I think I'd try okay. it. But, right. uh, yeah. It's more adventurous than I am. Anyway. All right, then there's Wales. Oh, uh, Wales, yep. And uh, and they have uh, a, a cream tea. And scones. Yes, and high How tea. How can you go wrong with Wonderful that? Wonderful experience. That's just fantastic. Yep. Oh, and then there's Korea. Mm -hmm. 
Your favorite thing there is? Kimbap. Kimbap. I like kimbap. They think it's of it like as a, picnic food. Yeah, picnic food. It's uh, like a sushi roll. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's, it's good stuff. And then also? Oh, they have bulgogi. bulgogi. Actually, that's my favorite thing uh -huh, there. Because it's meat. I like meat, <laughs> yeah. And, and oh, the uh, Korean barbecues. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, Ooh, yeah. You need to try a traditional, not the American yeah, Korean yeah, barbecue, but a traditional Korean barbecue. And then there's bibimbap. <gasps> bibimbap, it's yes. It's fantastic, but my favorite thing there that is pot ping su, which is, it's kind of like shaved ice, but it's more like fresh snow with flavors. Not like shaved milk? Shaved milk, yeah. yeah. It's just yummy when it's the super hot. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, nothing yeah. cools you down as well as uh, some pot ping su. And Talking then, about being cold, South Africa. Oh, yeah, South Africa. Now, one of the things about South Africa is they have a lot of Western foods in South Africa mm -hmm. and the restaurants are really cool. cheap. You can go into Turn and Tender, that's a, ch uh, a chain there, and you can for five bucks get a nice big uh, ribeye or T bone with all of the fixings for five bucks for their lunch specials. <laughs> At least that's what it was when we were there. Yeah. But your favorite thing there was, was Nando's. Well, oh, okay. Nando's, Nando's a restaurant. It's a chicken restaurant. But that's also the Bry's. The Bry's. Yeah. Uh, South Africa knows how to do a barbecue. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, the grill is just covered with meat, all yeah. sorts of meat. Then there's Germany. Germany. Oh, yes. Some of the the best schnitzel, schnitzel. in the world. But my favorite. What's that? Currywurst. Because oh. we were in, in Berlin, and that's uh -huh. what they're known for. It's... Well, it's it's just they're new, phenomenal. They're known for the worst. No. Which, <laughs> but curry worst, you but, gotta try it. Yeah, they kind of tip their hat to <laughs> India with that one, but, uh, but it's, now, it's good. Drum yes. roll, please. Ah, yes. So the best food that, that we like the most is Hungarian. Hungarian. Yeah. Hungarian? <laughs> hun yeah, Hungarian food. <laughs> uh, seriously. God keeps sending us back there, and so we have tried it all over Hungary, yep. and that's the difference. If you go to a country and you just go to one city, you really don't know what the rest of the country is like. Yeah, we've but, done six replacements in Hungary, and our next two are back to yeah. Hungary, so, but yeah. But they are known for their soup. Ah, Levesh. Oh, fantastic. You walk the streets, you smell mama's cooking. It's great. Yep, and uh, one of my favorite desserts in all the world is palancinta. It's a uh, crepe mm -hmm. stacked up with pudding mm -hmm. in between. Oh, it's delicious. And then they have another favorite of yours. Oh, yes, a perkolt on galushka. Uh, they, they they cook this uh, this uh, stew up a lot in of times. a huge it's, pot. Uh, pork stew or mushroom. Goomba porkolt, that's yeah. my favorite. They'll cook good it up in this vegetarian. big pot with lard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it really tastes oh, good. It's, it's, it's worth what it does to your innards. Uh, and, uh, yeah, in any case, uh, but um, <laughs> no, and then they put that on a, a bed of little dumplings called galushka, and oh, you haven't eaten until you've had uh, porkolt on galushka. But don't be afraid of the food in different countries. You know, yeah. Um, there have been a few times when I, when we've gone into someone's home and you don't want to ever offend them. And so, you know, we, we try almost everything that we're giving. Mm -hmm. um, and we pray, Lord, just help us go down and stay down. But you know, that's happened to us here in the States as well, mm -hmm. not just overseas. Mm -hmm. So don't let food stop you. In most of these countries, there's McDonald's, but but don't be one of those people. Nah. Okay? Try what they have and just see what it's like. Yeah. And God's going to give you the grace to do anything you have to do. He's also going to give you the wisdom to avoid things you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, God's going to bridge it, the gap. So yeah. don't let food become a negative to keep you mm -hmm. out of missions. Instead, uh, look at it as a positive because it really is a positive. Mm -hmm. There are so many laws and rules here in the United States uh, about restaurants and food that it really forces all of our culinary experience into a very small box. Mm -hmm. And one restaurant is very much like the next restaurant. And that's not like that in any other country. No, you no. go to other countries and you can eat in a cave. In a cave. <laughs> or an outside cafe. Yes. Or, or in tents. Or in a castle. Oh. We're and all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> and it, really, it is a wonderful mm -hmm. experience. Um, but to experience certain food in the country that it's that it came from is oh, yeah. really fantastic. Yeah, if you like pierogies, I tell you, eating them in Poland, in Poland is cool. the, the best but thing. But pizza in Italy. Oh yes. 
We've had uh, we've had pizza in Venice. We've had pizza in Rome by the Colosseum. Yeah, that's great. It's anyway, great. but uh, also the oh, street food. Oh yeah. yeah, street food. Asians have amazing street food. Mm -hmm. Just put it out there. That yeah. Yeah, and street food. and also castles. Mm -hmm. You ever eaten in a castle? They're great. Ooh, high tea mm -hmm. in a castle. Cream tea. Pinky out. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then also the Christmas the markets. Christmas markets. We oh. would go to a Christmas market anywhere in Europe, yeah. and you get bread bowls filled with hot soup, and you're standing or around, chowder. and it's so cold outside, and you're eating. It, it's the atmosphere mm -hmm. that you're in makes it spectacular. So yeah. don't look at it as a, something to be fearful of. We 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 thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, too much so. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> If God calls you to missions, don't ever use food as a reason to not answer yeah. that call because it's a positive. It's not a negative. And, now, uh, there has been one country that we found it harder. I cooked everything from scratch, mm -hmm. and so we made American food. Um, but their traditional food was really not our palate. Now, right after we left Cameroon, we went and put together a video that told a little bit about the food. So we're going to slap this on the end of the video. And, uh, and so, well, here it is. If you ask most Cameroonians what is their favorite meal, they will say, Fufu and Jamma Jamma. Fufu is a white pasty substance that is made from cassava root and ground corn and comes wrapped in a banana leaf. To the American palate, it is largely tasteless and unappealing. It is normally served with jama jama. Now, jama jama is made from the leaves of the jama jama plant, which is similar to kale, spinach, or Swiss char. Boiled with oil, spices, and dried fish, it is eaten with fufu or jollof rice. Fingers are used and care must be taken to avoid swallowing the fish bones. It is amusing how many of their foods have doubled up names. They have fufu, jama jama, chin chin, puff puff, kum kum, kati kati, se se, and many others. The interesting thing is that most of them do not like our food. Most will politely decline when offered macaroni and cheese, pizza, or spaghetti. They do, however, love cookies or anything sweet. Thanks for listening. Help us broaden our outreach by liking and subscribing below. And maybe even a share. Thanks again, and may his best blessings be yours. Mm -hmm.